Hi there, welcome to Raw Vegan Rising. My name is Shane Sterling. In this video, I'm talking about the gut microbiome and how we are lineage bearers to our family lines through our gut microbiome. So I'm sitting here in my car. I just got done with working out at the gym. I'm, you know, pumped up. I got endorphins in my mind. And I've been thinking about this for the last like hour and a half during my workout and I but I can't even like go home and set up like a tripod. I'm gonna do this video right here in the car because it's fresh on my mind and I'm, you know, I'm ready to say what is on my mind here, okay? Which is a big topic and, you know, I don't care if I'm gonna piss people off or offend people here because I gotta talk straight here. I gotta talk what I believe is absolute truth and what really holds humanity back here and that's what concerns me and that's why I'm gonna talk about it. I believe, and here's the brass tacks, I believe that we are lineage bearers. That means we take on the lineage traumas and diseases and genetic weaknesses from our family line, whether we realize it or not. We are bearers of our lineage. We're born into a family lineage to bear the burdens of that family lineage. I am not a family lineage bearer. I came to break the family lineage um, burdens and to free myself to start a new trajectory of the family lineage, okay? But what I think really holds us back more than anything, more than genetic weakness, more than family traumas and family expectations is the gut microbiome. We get our gut bacteria from our mother, essentially. And so we are literally tied, we are bound to our mother through our gut bacteria. We're, think about it, we are 90% microbes, 90% non-human DNA in our body. That means that we're mostly these like ancient bacterias and funguses and molds and yeasts that live in our body that are billions of years old. They inhabit our body, we are a host to them. They're extremely intelligent. They've adapted on this planet for billions of years longer than humans have been here. They know exactly what they're doing. They know exactly how to direct our thoughts, direct our actions to get what their needs are, which is bread and sugar and meat and dairy. How about that? Think about the gut microbiome directing us to the, the bagel or the or the, um, the yogurt or the cheese, you know? What if it's not even us? What if it's not even humans that desire meat and cheese and bread, but it's the gut microbiome of these ancient billions of year old microbes that are actually craving it and tell us through the connection between the gut and the brain, which we now know is proven by science, that tells us now to drive, it drives us to have the food. Now, what if that food keeps us limited, keeps us down, keeps us sick, and keeps us diseased. These microbes don't care if they destroy the host in the process, they'll go find a new host, right? So they crave grain and sugar and meat, but that destroys the host, that destroys our body. So here's the thing, I am a lineage breaker. I'm a, I'm a non-lineage bearer, which means I've come to change my microbiome through going on a 100% raw vegan diet and changing the gut bacteria that live inside of me, starving out those pathogenic bacteria that desire the bread and the meat and the dairy, and setting up a whole new trajectory for everything that comes after me. So let's get real. That's what we gotta do. You know, if you're overweight, if you're sick, if you have fibromyalgia or arthritis or joint pain or bad skin or acne, all the things that people have, this is a lifestyle disease. Cancer, diabetes, that's a lifestyle disease. That comes from your gut microbiome. Okay, this gets me amped up here because people are sleeping at the wheel here. You know, it's not us that really wants bread because bread creates acid buildup and acid waste and mucus in the body. Why would we desire to eat a food that creates mucus and disease in our body? We don't. We actually probably want fruits and vegetables, but the bacteria and the microbes want the bread and the grains that create the acid waste buildup in the body because they're not our body, you know? So really, we gotta get real with ourselves and get off the junk foods and get onto the raw fruits and vegetables so we can set up our children for a lifetime of success. If your mom ate junk food, if she ate bread, if she ate meat and dairy, that means you're gonna crave the meat and the dairy. How do you get off it? How do we break it so we get off of it? That's what we gotta figure out. 
you know, this this topic, you know, it makes me upset to be honest. You know, I, it makes me upset because people don't have the, uh, you know, the the gumption, the energy, you know, the energy, the drive, the focus, the realization that this is even a desirable thing to do. Most people are sleepwalking. Most people don't even uh, have any experience with what it's like to change the gut microbiome at all. How would anyone ever know that changing the gut microbiome and breaking the lineage, um, the lineage bearing of traumas and 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 you know workload that we take on from our mothers, our fathers, our ancestors? Who would even know that that's a thing to do? Well, we got to get smart. And I'll tell you, on a raw vegan diet. You know, no grains, no meat, no dairy, no sugar, only raw fruits and vegetables. This is what has woken me up to this idea. This is what allows me to know that what I'm talking about is true. It's true. We can change our biology. We can change our physiology. We can change our mind. We can change our thoughts, our actions, our feelings. We can change what we crave, what we fear, what we love based on how we create the microbiome in our body. This is critical stuff, people. So anyway, I came on here to say this. I know I'm a little worked up. I know I'm a little energetic on this topic, but it's big stuff. How are we ever going to stop being enslaved by the microbes until we take command of what we put in our mouth? So take command of what you put in your mouth. I take command of what I put in my mouth every single day. And it is raw fruits and vegetables now for one year solid. Before that, I had cut out alcohol and caffeine, minimal sugar, mostly whole foods. And before that, even back when I was 17 years old, which is 28 years ago now, I went vegan. I cut out meat and dairy. So this is possible. It is possible. I know because I've done it. Since I've done it, I know you can do it. And the benefits are innumerable. They're indescribable to free yourself from the cravings, from the bread, from the bread and butter, from the meat and the dairy, the meat and the potatoes, the French fries, the hamburgers. No, it's disgusting. It's disgusting. We need to get off of that food because that food's going to keep us down in our minds. It's going to keep us a slave race to the microbes. That's my call to action. That's my message. Like it or not, that's what I believe. So thanks for listening to this message. Please give it a thumbs up. Please leave a comment. I'd really appreciate it. And subscribe to my channel. Subscribing to my channel really helps me make more content like this, which I really need. And you know, the raw vegan message is important and it's only going to get stronger as people get more sick and more diseased on this GMO fed meat and this GMO food. We got to get off of these types of foods and come back in to our balance and our harmony and our truth. So subscribe to my channel for that, please. And hit the, subs the notifications button so you get notified when I release a new video. That would be phenomenal. Okay, so thank you so much for being here and I will see you in the next one.